So I tried to get this video out as soon as humanly possible for you guys, for, you know, a busy business owner like myself, as quick as I possibly could. Open Phone finally released their own call AI agent. AI agents are, of course, just on the rise, as you'll see on the screen here. Um, I'm sure you guys have learned and heard about AI agents to some degree at this point. But I wanted to break down, we've already actually went in here and created a whole call flow for our AI agent, which is actually very, very simple in terms of the overall flow setup. I will get into some of the prompting that you'll have to do and just constantly, you know, early on be tweaking on. We got ours pretty well dialed in. Uh, what we'll, We kind of test it, you know, once every couple weeks just to, you know, really test it, you know, give it outrageous numbers pissed off client whatever the case may be and overall we got this bad boy pretty dialed in after just about a week of actually using it and like i said we're probably going to test it you know once every week or two on top of the fact that we've already had five or ten client calls that it's handled as well i'll actually do a live example with my little cheap work phone that i got for signing up with spectrum business last year uh, just to give you guys an example so stay tuned for that to see just how good this agent is with that let's just dive right into you know the nitty-gritty in terms of how we actually set this up so if you go along with me here you'll see pretty obvious you know when a call comes in and it's during business hours you know first and foremost we want to confirm is it business hours so during business hours obviously we want to ring to users first and then if it's after hours we can go ahead and ring to sona so you probably don't want to do this step early on um you know if you get a ton of calls I, I wouldn't suggest just letting it go crazy you know right from the get or anything but if you know that you're going to have a certain day specifically where it's going to be relatively slow saturday sunday something like that come in and just really dive into this i really only spent maybe two or three hours of total man hour work into the prompting and all of this stuff uh, and if you guys want me to help you set yours up even if for those of you that have open phone or you're trying out open phone which by the way of course we have the best deal for you that you that they hooked you guys up with in the link in the description box down below this video and all my videos but if you want help with this just fill out uh, the form that's also down in the description box and we can look at setting up a call or something in the near future to help you set that up but it's pretty straightforward just a few hours of tweaking on this and then like i said just kind of paying attention to it how is it handling this and that and the other uh one thing i want to clarify too is like by no means do i think this thing should just replace your workforce like uh as you can see during work or work hours we want to actually ring our users for at least 20 seconds and if for some reason you know our admin lady is on lunch and like me and my other technician just like no one can answer the phone then by all means we obviously want someone to pick it up but you know after hours obviously like we don't have a 24-hour call center or anything nor do we really want to we just want this thing to simply take calls and if nothing else kind of be a step up from a voicemail because obviously a voicemail you know a lot of people as soon as they hear the voicemail click they're done and i'm not gonna lie like i've noticed especially with like recurring customers sometimes they will notice like because it says right off the bat that it is an ai agent there are people that will just straight up hang up and it was actually very cool one of our oldest customers like has a home landline phone no cell phone we have to call to confirm his appointments all this stuff he was like our first or second call ever that this agent handled uh, because his appointment was coming up on Monday. We left him a voicemail Friday afternoon. He tried calling back Friday evening. So he got the Sona agent. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can only imagine how this went. I saw it was about a minute and a half. So I was like, wow, he didn't hang up. And sure enough, like he talked to it. He was like, oh yeah, this is, uh, I forget his name, Bill something. Um, and you know, was just calling to confirm my appointment. Uh, the agent spoke back and forth to him you know is there anything that we need to know like like i said just very good like i said a step up from just traditional leave us a voicemail we'll get back to you right um you know it lets your clients know like you you are going to see this like i said guys it's pretty straightforward you know when you're setting up your flow you just hit your little plus button and then you can either you can do things like pl uh, phone menu you can even play like a hold audio um you know in terms of ringing because obviously if you don't know much about open phone they have transfer and holding things of that nature where you'll actually have like hold music so sometimes that's cool to have as well like i noticed while we've been training our assistant I've trained her on like, hey, you know, if you got a question, like 
don't stutter through it or anything just say you know what i'm you know either a just tell them straight up that you're in training or b just say you know let me talk to my supervisor about this real quick see what we can do for you whatever the case may be put them on hold real quick um i never thought of that because i just didn't need to as the owner of course but it is a very good tool to have in my opinion back to sona like i said it's super easy to set up so this like i said is the overall workflow and if you guys need help just setting up the workflow uh, just let me know and then like i said you know it's super easy to customize so when you're setting up your sona you can see here we have one set up for you know outside of business hours and then we also have one set up for you know during business hours and then from there you'll see you know do you want it to take a message do you want it to answer questions you know it, it will know essentially based on how the call is unfolding what it's needing to do is it just kind of taking a message for us is it answering customer questions and then this is where it actually gets really powerful so there's what's called the knowledge section and what i suggest you guys do is anything that you have in regards to your company uh call recordings you know anything and everything that you have that could benefit this agent this is what you're going to want to put in here because you're essentially prompting this agent now like i said i mean it's still a work in progress even for us but you can see here we have so 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 many just different things in here like we tell it what our service area is uh we tell it of course like what our business hours um you know how to respond whenever someone mentions that they're hearing noises in their home um you know giving them the service blocks like service windows if they want to you know figure out when we're usually available um always do this you know always introduce yourself always make sure to start the conversation off asking if the caller is a new or existing customer because from there it splits off in terms of different journeys because you obviously don't want to be treating a client that's been with you for two years five years ten years whatever the case may be as a new inbound lead right nothing's gonna piss your customers off more especially when it comes to this adaptation of ai and just this new world of technology then if they feel like you're just kind of treating them like someone who isn't even a customer of yours yet like what do you mean who am i like you know who i am i'm such a such like you want to program this thing to where it sounds as natural as possible people aren't stupid they know it's a bot but the more natural and organic it feels the better results you're gonna have and you can always make changes to these two i don't need to right now at the moment so i'm just leaving it all alone but like i said you can never really have too much information in here uh you know your most common calls i would start with those uh giving all your different pricing information and you know warranty information just anything that you have possible that could benefit this agent you want to put in here and the other thing too is is you set this up for each different type of scenario so say you have like two or three or four different scenarios you're going to have a different knowledge panel for each sona if that makes sense and then of course once you get done changing it you can hit publish it'll tell you that it's live or not live we didn't need to uh, mess with it or anything so what i'm actually going to do now as a matter of fact is i'm going to set up a call because it's saturday afternoon at the time of me actually doing this video for you guys like i said i'm trying to get this up as fast as humanly possible and we're gonna do just a quick test trial call to our main like primary business number all of our numbers merge into the primary anyways but i'm gonna call our primary business line and just have a quick chat with sona just so you guys can see kind of what i'm talking about in terms of how we program this as you can see the number there 214-978-377 quick note by the way you guys can try calling just going to be completely honest with you at this point i'm not the one really answering any phone calls i know once a week it seems roughly we get a call from one of you guys or a form on our website entered the best way to try to contact or reach out to me is either of course in our discord group facebook group and then of course if you like want some one-on-one -on -one training of any kind whatever the case may be fill out the google form in my description box down below but let's give this thing a call hi there recorded for quality and training how can i help today uh hi i'm actually dealing with a ant issue in my home um and i'm just trying to get some information about your pricing okay i can help with that are you a new or existing customer uh so i'm actually a new customer that's why i'm trying to get information about your pricing gotcha what's the square footage of your home i can give you a quote for general pest control 
Yeah, so um, our home, we live in Rollett, Texas, and our home is approximately 2,500 square feet. Okay, great. For a 2,500 square foot home, our general pest control plan is $499 plus tax for the year. Or you can do $129 plus tax to start, then $45 plus tax per month. Does that sound like something you're interested in? Uh, yeah, yeah, that sounds pretty good. Um, is there a way that somebody could give me a call back to set up an appointment? I can definitely help with that. I'll have our team contact you to further assist you. What's your first and last name? Uh, my name is Griffin Thomas. Okay, Griffin. And what's the best number to reach you at? Uh, this phone number that I called at works fine. Great, okay. And what's the address of your home? Uh, did you ask for my email address? I did. Is that something you'd like me to add to the message for the team? Uh, yeah, my email address, you can just put it as na at gmail.com. Got it. Is there anything else that you wanted to add, Griffin? Uh, was there anything else you need from me? Nope, that's it. So, just to confirm, you're Griffin Thomas, and you'd like our team to call you back about the pest control quote for your 2,500 square foot home. Is that right? That sounds about right. And what was the price again? No problem. For a 20 square foot home, our general pest control plan is $499 plus tax for the year. Or you can do $129 plus tax to start, then $45 plus tax per month. Do you need help with anything else? Um, I think that's pretty much it for now. Okay, great. Perfect. Have a great rest of your day. Awesome. So as you can see, we had about a two minute, just over two minute conversation with the Sona. And like I said, it's not perfect by any stretch of imagination. All this technology is still very, very, very new, still in its infancy. Like if you listen to a lot of the CEOs and, you know, the companies that are building these agents and building these tools, they're all saying the same thing that, you know, we're expecting days, weeks, months, maybe a year at the most from now for these agents to be able to do this and that. Like it's in its infancy stage right now. Like there's a good chance that a lot of what I'm having to do in terms of the prompting and editing this, editing that, it's gonna to a degree be for nothing. At least I got a feeling because like these things are gonna become just so dialed in that no one's gonna really even be able to tell if they're speaking to a human or a bot at the end of the day. So I mean, like I said, it, it's crazy. The fact that it's even this well, like I was able to get a pretty good idea on a quote. Now, do you have to program yours to give the customer a quote? Absolutely not. And to be honest, ours rarely, I think it's only maybe given pricing information like one time ever in terms of like to an actual customer, potential customer. But that's something that we programmed in there. Like you heard it ask what my square footage of my home was in terms because it linked the fact that, okay, ant issue, that's covered under general pest control. What's the square footage of the home? And then it, you know, gave the pricing based on the pricing guide that I gave it in one of the prompts. So I'm interested to know, let me know down in the comments down below, you know, are you using any type of AI? I asked a question similar to this in my post earlier this week. And do you plan on implementing any type of AI, be it these AI agents that can answer your phones after hours or whatever the case may be? Is there any type of AI that you either want to know about that you want to implement in your business or you know are you just kind of somebody that's like look i don't care about the ai stuff i'm just going to let my business be obsolete within five to ten years or less at this rate either way i'm interested to hear from you guys let me know down in the comments down below and if you want more videos like this if there's any tools specifically you want me to dive into you guys know i've been working with zapier for a while in terms of just connecting all these different apps and platforms that we use together. We're now also diving into NA10 and you know MCPs and just creating our own AI agents to be able to automate so much of what we do in terms of obviously our blog creation and not just blog creation, but literally like once a day having a blog ready to go to even posting those blogs across our social media for our business. Not for like my personal brand right now. I'm not you know overly worried about my personal brand or anything like that. I'm focused on building my business and my business of course is our pest control business preferred pest management which by the way lastly if you haven't heard of me and you're still watching at this point do me a favor and subscribe and hit the bell icon that way you'll be notified every time we go live or upload another video as i mentioned i actually own a home service business
business, a pest control business, preferred pest management in the Dallas, Texas area. We've been in business for about five years already now. And on this channel overall, I just document my entire business journey. Um, you'll see close to a thousand videos on this channel, just all the different things that I've done, either tried and failed or now succeeded finally after like five to 10 different business ventures. And I just keep it real and give you the good, the bad, the ugly, and the absolute ugly. That way you can avoid lots of time wasted and avoid lots of money burned at the same time. So if any of that interests you, like I said, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up, share it with somebody that you think could benefit from it. Like I said, if you're not already using open phone, we have the best deal that they gave you guys in terms of like an affiliate link down in the description box down below. I get a very, very small little cookie essentially if you guys do sign up for them and actually do end up like using their platform longer term but i'm not like affiliated with them they didn't pay me to make this video anything like that whatsoever that just gives you guys the best deal on open phone down below and i'll leave some videos and a playlist right here for you guys at the end and you should go check it out and learn how to start and grow your business this year